Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out this cool uh, 3D, 360 kind of rotating um, animation, which you can do on your phone easily. And if I tap on this, see how the lightning uh, comes up, uh, this sonic uh, classic blue lightning. Uh, this is pretty cool and this can easily be done in less than 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's just get started. Also, I will appreciate if you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, click on the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. All right, so right about here, I have this iPhone 10 uh, artboard set up in Adobe XD. I have this text set up, which is just basic Helvetica Noi, bold italic. And I've also given a slight border to it, which is eight pixels in size. So that is why it looks really thick. So first of all, I'll change this text to Sonic, uh, of course, all in capitals and put that in the center. Perfect. Over the top, what I'll do is create a quick rectangle and inside this rectangle, we will have a background image. So I'll center this rectangle, of course, give this a border radius about 50 or less, maybe 35. Perfect. I'll remove the border, of course, and give this a shadow. So I'll give the shadow for 24 by 42 so 24 on the y and 42 on the in, on the blur or the b 25 percent opacity of course so that it seems okay this is floating above something now the image here is from unsplash.com of course it is a free site where you can get very high quality images and i'll place this road here adobe xd automatically adjusts this road or this image inside this uh, rectangle. And I'll just adjust it so that it's centered and it's slightly magnified. Now this looks really good. Now everything is set up. Uh, it looks good. Gradient is good. Let's set up Sonic of course. And that is super simple. I've already downloaded a Sonic image from the internet. It was just a simple uh, Google search and nothing else. So I have this and of course all the assets and files will be in the description so don't worry about it now if you have protopy installed it will appear here like this so if you haven't i will give the link in the description go ahead and download protopy and click on this so now that we've reached into protopy this window will open up the settings here should be import size i'm keeping at about 2x that means it will be a high quality image uh, artboard I want uh, I won't change right now this is the artboard that I want or layer structures should be checked and out of these one thing that you must make sure is update layer orders and grouping structure this should be checked now I'll just go ahead and say import it'll take a few seconds and as you can see it's imported I'll just enlarge this window a little bit perfect now, as you can see, we have this iPhone. I can change the device to anything that I want. I'll change it to Android and Galaxy S9, S8, and it basically changes the artboard size and everything else. So what I'll do is just uh, select everything from the left panel here and just center everything. Now we have this, and if I say preview, as you can see, you can preview this in real time, and the image which is just going off everywhere is not going off everywhere here. Now what we need to do is remove this photo in the background. So I'll just select the photo and say delete on my keyboard to delete it. One thing that we need to do is go to this media on the top left and here I will go to camera. And as you can see, a default camera window is pop has popped up. I will just enlarge it uh, just so that it comes in the entire area of this artboard and I'll place it at the back. All I can do, all I will do is just hold camera one and just shift it down to the bottom of this hierarchy. On the right here, I have properties of camera one, which is our camera in the background. I will just say auto start and you can choose either front camera or back camera. I'll choose the back camera, of course. And that's about it. In the preview, you'll be able to see this a kind of um, static background here, which of course, since there is no rear camera on my MacBook, uh, it is basically just like this. Now let's start animating this stuff. It'll be pretty cool. So there are two photos, of course, the Sonic photo. I'll just rename this to maybe which says Sonic. And the other photo is just the background photo. So what I'll do is first go to this add trigger on the right. I'll click on add trigger and I'll go to this sensor category here and click on tilt. Now, every time your phone tilts in a certain direction, it will animate here. So I'll click on this plus icon right below and I'll say 3D rotate. So it'll rotate on a 3D axis. 
So I will choose the layer. In this case, I will choose the background image photo. And I want it to pivot at origin. Now in ProPy, the origin is default set at 0, 0. I want it to be in the center. So I'll just select the image here. And here, right next to origin, I have these, this, these little boxes. I click on the center box and then you'll have the origin set at the center. Now I'll click on 3D rotate. Uh, I will make sure that the smoothness is, you know, it's a smooth animation. So I'll select the first option here. And in the perspective depth, we want it to be a little more three dimensional looking. So I'll just set it to about 800 on the perspective. And in the range, what I want you guys to set is the degree that you want it to rotate at. So a hundred degree rotation of the phone will lead to a certain angle of rotation on the interface. So in this case, I'll say minus 100 and maybe minus 25 and mine and 100 to 25. So this will make sure there's very little rotation. You can increase this to say something like 35 and it'll rotate slightly more as well. Now I will not change any other settings, that is about it. Now we will add another 3D rotate. If I click on this plus icon, I'll select 3D rotate. And inside here, I will select the sonic image, which is just basically sonic. And I will set this smoothness here as well. And the same settings about 100 degrees on both axis, minus 100 and 100. In this case, I want the sonic not to rotate that much. So maybe I'll just say, I don't know, eight degrees uh, minus 8 or minus 10 degrees and 10 degrees. Now I want to add a bit of lightning and that bounce effect. So what we'll do is we will go to our browser and yes, a lot of you notice that I'm using Microsoft Edge because it's quick, fast, better than Chrome of course. Here what I'll say is Lottie Files. So Lottie Files has a plethora of Lottie animations that we can use and edit right here in this website. So I'll go to Lottie Files and search for lightning and I'll press enter and it, it will search that lightning animation that I put. All we need to do is go to this download JSON and we can select which format we want. In this case, I want a Lottie JSON file. Just click on it and it'll download. If I come back into ProtoPy, I've already downloaded that JSON file. All I need to do is just copy and paste right here in just drag it right here into ProPy and put it in the center right above here above Sonic. Go back to add trigger. So in this add trigger, what I'll do is click on tap. Tap will essentially allow us to animate certain things on pressing. I'll click on, of course, uh, the entire, I'll maybe click on something like Sonic. So if I click on Sonic, the whole thing will animate and I will select number of fingers to one. I'll go, I'll go to this plus icon. Inside here, I will click on playback option. Now this playback option will allow us to select this lightning VFX and it will essentially just play that animation or JSON file for us. I will set the scale and I will change the scale of Sonic to something greater. In this case, I will just check how large Sonic is. So he is 375 by 555 on width and height. So what we will do is now scale the Sonic model from 375 to say something, uh, maybe 20 pixels more. So 395 and here we will set it to 575. So 395 by 575. Perfect. Now it'll scale to this. Duration, we'll set it to 0.2, change it to, and if you want the spring animation, we will select this easing option and go to spring, and it'll give that bouncing effect. Uh, same thing we'll do here is add another scale. Add another scale and scale back to the normal value. So three, three, so which is 375 by 555. I'll basically, change it back to 355, 375. So I'll change it to 375 by 555 and it'll scale it back to its original state. I'll change the start delay to 0.22, that's fine. And change the easing to spring again. So that will give it that bounce effect. 
If you go to preview, if I click on the Sonic, now if I click on Sonic here, see how he bounces and the lightning effect also comes on top of him. And we can of course replicate this over and over again. So this is a nice bouncing effect and a 3D effect. It looks good, it plays well, and it also is great to test out on any device. I hope you liked that tutorial. That was a short tutorial. I post every Monday and Thursday, so stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. God bless.